With global tensions on the rise, particularly with China and Russia, the U.S. has to be ready for anything. And that includes all of its assets, old and new. The USS Gerald R. Ford has spent a significant amount of time in the Atlantic testing out the Navy's newest carrier. Ten on your side got an exclusive look into why it's so important to get this carrier in tip-top shape and ready to go at any time. Our Haley Mylon was on the Ford this weekend to see what's happening. The entire strike group is undergoing a series of training evolutions and testing out at sea right now. And if everything goes according to plan, it'll get its final certification and the USS Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier will be the first of its class ready to go for worldwide deployment. Driving across the HRBT growing up as a kid, seeing all the ships. He started as a little boy with a dream. And now I'm actually in the Navy. Logistics specialist and Virginia Beach native William Swan is a part of the historic crew manning the first of its class, $13.3 billion USS Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier as it inches towards final certification. Five years since its commissioning, the Ford and its strike group now endure a crucible of testing called the Composite Unit Training Exercise. From navigating its strike group formations. And we'll be doing different things. We'll be testing the capabilities of the ship. To launching jets with the new electromagnetic launch system. Getting these pilots in the air so they can do their job. As global tensions escalate, there's pressure to certify the strike group for a deployment in coming months. An aircraft carrier is a great tool for deterrence. The Ford's commanding officer, Captain Paul Lanzalota, taking over the helm in 2021. Critics accuse the Navy of moving slowly with getting the Ford deployment ready, but Lance Lota says they're ensuring that all of the new technologies are being safely integrated. Dual band radar to map the seas, advanced weapons elevators to bolster combat readiness, and an electromagnetic aircraft launch system to efficiently get jets in the air. Only some of the proprietary technologies that make the Ford the most advanced warship in the world born right here in Hampton Roads. Well, to see how far the ship has come from the shipyard, so now it's really exciting. Once the strike group gets this certification, it will be set for a deployment in a couple months. The Navy has not announced a deployment date yet. Aboard the USS Gerald R. Ford, Haley Mylon, 10 on your side.